Hello guys, um, I have just been kind of cleaning up this morning and I was just gonna organize some PR in this cabinet here and I thought we could just do a haul cause stuff is kind of building up. This cabinet I'm actually super excited about. It was super inexpensive on Wayfair, like it's not the best quality in the world but it totally works and um, this is how I've been organizing like all of my business stuff. Everything is labeled so I can put like new makeup in a certain spot, stuff that needs to be put away in my collection in a certain spot. I also made jewelry making for my business, uh, which I always link below. So much easier. I got this like really cool little like storage thing. Anyway, so yeah, I thought we could do a little PR haul from my cabinet. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out a few of these storage containers. You can see this one's overflowing, so I need to go through and I'm just gonna like haul this stuff, talk about all the new stuff, and yeah, then I need to organize it back into my collection, which I don't know if I'm gonna film, but uh, yeah, let's talk about everything. Okay, where to start? Let's close these. I think I wanna start with some Glossier because I briefly talked about this, but I didn't like how the video turned out, so I'm just gonna mention it again in case some of you were curious and just wanted to see the glossier beauty bag this is what it looks like it's basically like a coated canvas it's not leather which thank goodness because i would not have bought it then um but it's really nice um i have been liking it it just has like this felt interior pocket so you can actually like put stuff standing up um which by the way before i forget i have discount codes for glossier fluff like a lot of the other brands that i work with so i'll just leave those in my description box. But anyway, this is the beauty bag and she is very cute. I personally like it quite a bit. I can't wait to actually take this somewhere. They're selling this with the beauty set so you can get lash lick mascara, boy brow, and um, cloud paint and you can pick your shades. And these are some of my favorites from Glossier. I personally replenished Puff, which is just like a super bright pink and Glossier Boy Brown Brown because those are my favorites. But if you want to save a little money and you haven't tried these, I definitely recommend it. And I literally just got this. This is the new Cleanser Concentrate and I did use it once last night and then put it back in the box so we could open it up together. Um, typical Glossier box packaging, but I am super excited because the Cleanser Concentrate is a glass bottle. It is so beautiful. Like, it's just the most gorgeous amber color. It kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park. Like how pretty is that? And if you have not checked out Cleanser Concentrate, it's perfect for someone like me with really easily clogged pores and sensitive skin. It's just supposed to be really lightly exfoliating and so that should help prevent acne. Um, yet it's supposed to be gentle at the same time. When I used it last night, I really liked it, but obviously I need to test this much longer to see if it's actually worth it. Moving right along, <laughs> um, I got a care package from one of my favorite brands, Fluff, and um, I'm so excited because I'm finally getting to test more of their line. I should maybe do a full video to be honest, but I basically got refills of the different bronzer shades which come in this really adorable packaging. And um, it's really nice because it's a little more sustainable. You don't have to rebuy their gorgeous compacts all the time. You can just buy a bronzer refill, which I use this one as blush. It's so freaking gorgeous. Um, and yeah, so it's a little bit more sustainable. Lots of different refill options. So I have the orange. I got um, number two. I don't know what one is this. This one is number three. So number three is a little bit more of a deeper orange. And then I also got number two, which is a really gorgeous, kind of more of a contour shade for me. And I'm super excited to test this out some more. Um, but yeah, Fluff does it again. Really, really beautiful packaging. Um, I got a refill of the Fluff Lip Oil, um, which I'll just open for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Basically, the lip oil just looks like a baby version of the um, bronzer. So I'll show you right now. Um, so this is what the compact looks like without the actual lip oil in it. And then the lip oil refill like comes in here and you just pop it in and it's all magnetized. So it's super cute, super smart. And I'm so glad I got a refill because I was almost out of the clear kind. 
I got a refill of the um, number one bronzing powder and look how cute this is. The little sticker is the shape of the compact. Like I just cannot with them. They're just, they think about every detail I feel like. Um, and obviously so cute. Um, I got another washcloth. So this is their little terry cloth. It's so cute. It has like the little fluff logo and another one of their brushes. This is, one is in yellow. I have an older one that's red, but I'm excited to have another one. So easy, so quick to just throw on the cheek. Now, the things that I am super, super stoked about, obviously this brought this, um, I think this is the shade number four, this blush, and then look at these. So this is the face cleanser. So I did a campaign with them on the face cleanser, but this is the new packaging. So you can see it's much more sleek. It's much more high end looking and you just pump the cleanser at the top. It gets all your makeup off. Um, yeah, just really gorgeous. Again, <laughs> I'm gonna say gorgeous like a hundred times. Um, but this is the um, face mask. So this is supposed to be super hydrating. It's one of those face masks that you're supposed to just be able to rub into the skin. I haven't checked this out yet. Let's see. Ooh, it smells good, really fresh. It's almost kind of like lightly mint colored. Really excited about that. Knowing them, I will love this, but we shall see. And then this is the face oil number three. So I haven't tried this one. This is supposed to be for skin integrity, enhancing appearance and relieving skin conditions. So I hope this goes well with my rosacea. It's just the most beautiful packaging. I know for me, when skincare is pretty, it makes me want to use it. So super excited. Moving right along, we have this Too Faced new lip product. So this is a lip injection lip with li liquid lipsticks. That's, uh, blah, blah, blah. That's a lot of L's. So there's three shades and I used one of them in my last video if you wanna see one in action. Um, but I really, really like these things so far. Basically, they're slightly lip plumping. Like they kind of remind me of my Buxom powder lips if you know what I'm talking about. But they're slightly plumping and then they're like a really beautiful, like velvety, comfortable matte lip. So highly recommend checking these out if you're looking for a new lip. Next, I haven't even opened this yet. This is from Bliss, which I don't know how they got my address, but I appreciate the new product. Um, this is the Invisible Daily Sunscreen. And I mean, perfect timing because I need some more sunscreen for summer. Let's take a look. So this is the Blockstar Invisible Daily Sunscreen SPF 30. Um, it's vegan and cruelty free. So I'm definitely super excited to test this. I also recently got all of these beautiful new shades from ColourPop. These are new eyeshadows. Can we check out the gorgeousness? It's so funny because if you watched my last video, um, these two colors are colors that I've been very interested in. There's like a beautiful green and a beautiful coral. I am just so excited. I kind of want to swatch a few to see how they look. Let's swatch the green. Oh, that color pop texture is just so unique. Let's swatch it. Of course, super pigmented. This is actually coming out kind of more of a yellow. Interestingly enough on the hand. I don't know if you guys can see that um, But yeah, really pretty. I love ColourPop shadows I think they're really fun to just like put one all over the lid and I'm glad they're doing More fun colors. Obviously we've got some new eyeshadow palettes from Huda Beauty um, There's three of them. Let me just get them open here. I should have come more prepared. I'll show you so there's this more orangey one, this more yellow one, and this deeper one. I would say for me, I'm kind of attracted to this one with this yellowy shade in the center. I love like a puke uh, yellow. I just think it's so pretty in the crease. Um, this palette is Toffee Brown Obsessions. Super quick, because I'm not gonna try them on. New Power Bullets from Huda Beauty. These are just cream lipsticks. So if you're into creams, um, which I've been getting more into, I feel like you can do some cute stuff where you just like use lipstick as blush and everything. So I'm kind of interested to try them for that. Um, yeah, new cream lipsticks. Too Faced also sent over their new teddy bear collection. And one of the products is this 
bronzer, which how freaking cute is that? Um, it's like an actual teddy bear. And there's just sort of this bronzer with this golden center. So it is a more kind of shimmery bronzer, which I do kind of struggle with. I feel like sometimes when bronzers are too shimmery, they can be a little bit unflattering. So I'm gonna have to try that on. But the packaging is super cute. I have to give it to them for that. I Heart Revolution came out with the Aristocats collection. <laughs> Here's what the palette looks like. Um, I don't know, really cute, really adorable. I don't actually know the Aristocats. Like I haven't watched that, so I can't tell you. I'm not like a fan, but the packaging is super cute. I thought these lashes were super cute. I love like a little half lash and like these are so dainty and adorable. There's also this highlight, this cute little brush. And then also, I believe this is a lip gloss. Yeah, little lip gloss. There was also these new fluid eye paints from About Face Beauty. Highly recommend these if you haven't tried them yet. My favorite has been this purple in the shade Freaked. I also got the rest of the collection too, but I've already put it away. So I just wanted to shout these out. The purple is just the most beautiful purple. I have some different like eye swatches on my Instagram and I believe I'm wearing it in a couple of my last videos. So definitely love this one. And then I'm still experimenting with these three, but. I have really loved most of the products I got from About Face. Like today I have the shadow sticks in the shade Oxide on like my lower lid just to make, you know, the eyes get that like really fresh, big look. And I, this shadow stick is so wonderful. It's one of my favorite like white inner eye pencils that I've ever used. Highly recommend. Oh yeah, I also got this shirt from Fluff. I have some more packages coming today. Hey guys, it's like several hours later. I wanted to insert this clip because I just got the most gorgeous package from Make and I just wanted to show you guys for sure on camera. So if you've watched my channel for a long time, you would know Make. Make is a very gorgeous brand. They used to do a lot of really, really pretty like editorial makeup. For example, um, these eyeshadow palettes. Um, like some of my old favorites I still use to this day are from Make Beauty. And so they're redoing, I believe, their whole line, but they're starting with skincare. Um, and then it looks like they're going to move back into color products. So this line right here are these absolutely stunning skincare products. This is a makeup removing oil cleanser with this gorgeous sort of um, pearlescent packaging. This is the succulent skin wash. So just a very beautiful, gentle, and I believe hydrating cleanser, gently cleanses and soothes. Um, but it also has this sort of beautiful ombre as you can see they all go together But the packaging is all different um, And then this one is it's called the micro ferment rice essence skin prep hydrating liquid I'm not a hundred percent sure what this one is. I believe this is more of a hydrating toner um, And it's so pretty. It's like the most beautiful pearly color and then we also have a lightweight moisturizer and I feel like this is gonna be perfect before makeup. So yeah, I just wanted to throw these in here because I'm super excited about them. I just wanted to like sit down with you and go over just this haul uh, before I, you know, put it away so you guys can see some of the new stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below if there's anything specific that you wanna see. And yeah, hope you have a good day. Bye.